So uh, this is uh, the Living Wisdom newsletter from the Life University, and uh, it's uh, there's an article by Dr. Newton. It's called Know Thyself, and I'm going to read it out. Dear friends, Know Thyself is a process of self self discovery. It was Raman Maharishi who urged everyone unto the self inquiry process. Who am I? Plato and Socrates encourage this inquiry with all their students. Every spiritual tradition encourages seeker to know seekers to know thyself. This is a discovery process. It can open doors to end suffering. It is lack of self knowledge that leads to suffering. Are we? Are we what we do? Are we just a rich person, a joyful person, an engineer, a mother, a son, or what? We are mostly identified with outer layers of our identity. Yes, you are all that, and much more. Like an onion with many rings, you are the outer self, and much more. You are also the inner self residing inside the outer self. You are not the body; you have a body. You are not the mind; you have a mind. You are not the emotions; you have emotions. We are too scared to let let go of outer identities. We live only in known identities, never knowing about our true self. These. these are false identities because these are lesser truths than the greater truth residing in us what is true what is real what is unlimited what is unbounded our true self can we make an effort to disidentify ourselves with the peripheral and know our true self no know, knowing yourself is wisdom knowing others is information In India we have a process called niti niti I am not this I am not that I can watch the body I am outside the body I can watch the mind I am more than the mind meditation is a niti niti process I am much more than what I can watch I am not the ego niti niti process can help us reach our true self we may deny our true self because of our mental concepts our cloudy thoughts are like a cloudy sky we cannot see the sun we are not able to go beyond the clouds meditation is watchfulness awareness it takes many years of practice what you can watch you can disidentify outer identifies are irrelevant most issues are coming from the body mind and emotions most time is occupied with physical self and has gone into men- and has gone into mental self we have too many thoughts we completely identify with our thoughts i have the greatest suffering no one else we completely identify with our emotions we've become our emotional identity i am not good enough people take advantage of me we need to reach our inner identity only those who reach reach their inner identity can enjoy their outer identity ego is reactive soul is wild know yourself as a divine divine being after the niti niti process you discard what you are not i am not blank i am a soul i am an undifferentiated soul meditation practice is meant for that after peeling many layers you realize you are a multidimensional soul we have come to the physical planes from higher dimensions in nature we have come from the causal and supra causal dimensions we are beyond manas buddhi chitta and ahankar know your know thyself as a whole total and complete we have everything inside us we suffer because we seek love joy peace outside of us when we connect inside we can find it our soul is love our soul is joy our soul is peace you are already that which you are seeking know thyself as zero and infinity you are a zero not an individual soul not your ego you are the whole whole and composite you suffer when others you suffer when others suffer you suffer when plants and animals suffer you are a collective and you can feel it when you operate from an infinite consciousness everything comes to you naturally in the words of jesus christ wake up and remember you are god how long will you live in the peripheral come to the center of your being everyone else is the same god with love and joy dr newton goldavity